day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. He's the one. I'm going to interrupt you. Sorry to do that. Because <laughs> I think we, I think we can, I think if we sit there and and, 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 and minister and execute this to everybody, I think it's going to make a difference. Robert, I got John chapter 15 coming up. And could you read from at least one through fourteen? All right. So here, here it is. You don't mind reading, do you? He got his glasses on. The word. Hey, hey, you talking to me? <laughs> yeah. Can you read that for us? Uh, Listen to the words, Elvin. I am the true vine, and my father's the husbandman. Yes, sir. Every branch of me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away, and every branch that beareth fruit, he purges it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Oh, really? Okay. Now ye are clean through the words which I have spoken unto you. So when we're preaching the gospel, we, we're cleaning something. Elder Brother as if we preach and walk the gospel, we're cleaning something, right? We're giving the word, and we're cleaning something, right? Something's being cleaned. I, I I can't clean anything. Um, the word does. I can't look. That's God says. What? Look, that's what God does. That, 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 that cleansing. That's Charles. Charles, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> that cleansing takes place as a result of remaining attached to that vine. Yes, sir. Right. And as long as that vine is flowing through you, right. you will Father. Right. Huh? Right. So you're bearing fruit, then, right? Yes. Yes. Lord, you're attached in the vine. Now, see, that's that's the relationship that individuals have with God. Yes, sir. And not so much as how we influence and clean other people, because that's not our position. It's the yes. word doing that. It's God doing it's that. It's God doing that. Through His word, right? Uh, through His spirit. Yeah, well, I mean, his word is spirit, and his word is life, isn't it? My true. word is spirit, and my word is life. And he said, but, go preach the gospel. True. But it comes down to the foundation of the individual, the spirit that's in that person. And what the word does is it gives us, it tells us what is expected. It gives us the target. Yes, sir. Uh, it gives us the target that we shoot at, aim for, yes, and sir. when we miss that target, then we're found to be in sin. Okay. But what God does is He gives us His Spirit that enables us yes, sir. to hit that target. Yes, sir. Come that on. Now. We couldn't hit yes. when we were without Him. Exactly. Uh, and which position the world is in. Yes. These police that you're referring to that have yes. not the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's almost like you really can't expect anything else from them because it's not in them Amen. to do it. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. And the only way, oh, the way. that Come that on. changes Come on. is through the spirit that God gives us. How's that going to happen? By being born again. How'd that happen? You actually by, by hearing? Well, ah, there you go. I'm trying well, to say this well, again. By well, hearing no. his word. There's a text that says, The wind bloweth where it listeth. Yes, sir. And thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell from whence it cometh or where it goeth. Yes. So is everyone that is born yes. of the Spirit. Yes. Amen. But to take a question back into how do people receive the Holy Spirit is through the word. It's the gospel. I'm saying, I'm saying those of you that have been commissioned, every last one of us has been commissioned based on the word of God. Yes. It's the gospel. Preach yes. the gospel is not only just words coming out of your mouth of his word, but your actions too. Right? So I'm trying to say you can flow it. I'm saying is that first of all, I'm gonna tell you something. These people, and I and I go back a little historically, there's some pictures you've seen of lynching, you've seen that where a whole town showed up and like three, I seen one picture where three black men were lynched on the tree 
and it looked like the entire town was there. And I saw young men and, and, and older men. I saw ties and everything else on them, shirts and ties on them. And, and that means that implied to me that they did it on a Sunday. If I looked at the date, I probably could confirm that it was a Sunday when they came out to church in there. And, and what that means to me is <clears throat> these people believe that they are Christians, but maybe they're not been taught what it involves being a Christian. Maybe even a police officer, I think a lot of them show up to church. If you ask most of them, they'll tell you they're Christians. But they're thinking of not bearing fruit because they're not taught to bear fruit. My point is that the movement that can happen is encouraging the foundation of the faith to make sure our pastors and leaders and the body of Christ is to remind people of what the fruits of the spirits are. And, and then I guarantee you that even a police officer, that guy's not lost. Because the whole world was hardened when Christ came. But Christ has been changing it through the gospel. We are the vehicle. We are the ones that both bring and remind people something that's not hard to do. Well, you still have the issue of no man can come unto the Father unless he's drawn through Christ. Well, that's the whole point. And who's, who's commissioned so, to do that? So it's still it's still an issue of the Spirit. It's but a move what? of the Spirit. Yeah, but who's... Okay, all right, I want to make sure. Now, we're, now okay. don't get me wrong. Okay, we're instrumental yes, in sir. delivering a message. Yes, sir. But the message is from God. The quickening comes from God. Yes, sir. The power is not within ourselves. You okay, it's in, it's, in, it's in God. But remember, you've been in do with power. power. If I ever encountered any villains, you've been, with you've been in do with power on how the day of Pentecost. Amen. And, and the point is that Brother Addison read that these signs will follow yeah. those. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Who's going to do the will of God. And see, I think sometimes we think about trampling over serpents and scorpions that we, 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 we got to realize we're talking about spiritual things. Okay. Well, Pastor, I, 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 I'm trying to wrap my mind around this. Okay, come on now. By using Christ as my example. Yes, yes, sir. And he did not try to change this world system. Mm -hmm. he, he came to right. change the hearts of man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he came to reconcile the lost right. back to the Father. He made a way. He he was he was sacrificed. Yes, sir. I mean, he had a purpose, and his purpose was to fulfill the law. Yes, sir. So that all men come on now may be saved. Right. Might be saved. Might be saved. Though the 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 the, the offer is to all mankind. Yes, sir. It is. It is. And though God wished that all men be saved. Come on now. Come on here, you. We know that that there are those who will not accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. That's their right. hearts have been hardened. I mean, let's let's go right to the to the parable. Yeah. That if you can't get that parable, you can't get any parable. And, we need to and that, that is the sower. And what does and the, the sower what? sows the seed? What's the seed is? The seed is the word of God. Of God. Yes, sir. And look, not all police, but most pe police are the wayside. <laughs> but you know, you think about it right, in a lot of cases, these people, and not just them, the world in itself, have some fault, they're on the bad ground, they, they choke, the word is choking because of the cares of this world, yeah. the deceit of the riches, and the lust of other things entering in. Some are chosen there because of offense. Remember he said, remember the, the word is taken from them because of offense, right? And, 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 and some of these people are offended. They, a lot of them are offended. 
uh, we talked about earlier. We talked about we talked about earlier, Elder. What we said is that we use. I'm gonna come back, uh, Charles. Okay. No <laughs> I'm gonna come back, but no I'm gonna come back first. I want to go back to something the Elder Johnson brought up. Uh, Elder, I think it was First Peter. I think it's First Peter, chapter four. Wow, I never stopped. Man, I, 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 I kept these slides up while we were talking. I meant to take them off so I could, we can get a full picture of me. Because y'all see my videos, you know, you got a small box when the slide is up, so you can't see your full face. But forgive me for that. Elder. No Elder, Thank you sure. read this. Read it again. The suffering of a Christian. Read that for me. <laughs> You want to read the entire play? Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. The Lord think it not strange concerning the fiery trials which is to try you. Oh, so you mean the cops are going to come there against you, harass you? Don't think that's strange. No, Legit. it's not strange. Okay, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Well, rejoice in as much as you are partakers of Christ's suffering. Ooh! No, we did talk about Philippians three ten. Then we said that you may know Him, the Father, the Resurrection, and what the fellowship of His suffering. suffering. Yes, sir. He said, "Keep going, sir. I just want to let you." Know. That when His glory shall be revealed, you may be glad also with exceeding joy. Come on, that. If you be reproached for the name of Christ, uh, let me say that again. If you be reproached for the name of Christ, come on now. Who are you? Come on now. For the Spirit of glory, Woo! the end of God rested upon you. Yes. On their part, he is evil spoken of. Yes, sir. And on your part, he is glorified. Oh, he is glorified. But let none of you suffer as a murderer. Oh, so hold the word now. Hold, hold it down. Hold it down. No, you read that. Read that last and stop. That, read that verse and stop. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, or as a thief, or as an evildoer, as a busybody in other men's matters. Now, what do they try to do, Elder, when they sit there and call themselves big they doing righteous stuff? When they sit there and try to, they, you know, they, they forget about what they did because they try to do what they try to label you. That's why they try to do the background check. Let me get off this thing because I want, we want to see, we want to see clearly what I'm saying. That's why they want to do the background checks to try to bring up your history. That's why they want to sit there and say, "I'm arresting." He, he resisted arrest. He, he, you know, in other words, they want to 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 pull you into that part that 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 one scripture that you were referring to. They want to take you out of being a reproach for Christ's sake and pull you into the one of disobedience, evildoer, terrorist. Huh? Remember I can try to change the black and black movement? Terrorist. Somebody try to label us terrorist. Somebody try to call Antifa terrorist. Are you catching me? They try to you. It's just not, it's, it's, you know, there's so many of these people who don't proclaim to be Christians and by their actions are not Christians and it's happening to them, even yes. more so. Yes, sir. Uh, ma matter of fact, I, I hardly ever hear, very seldom hear anyone crying out to Christ. Yeah, that's true. And now let's, let's talk about that. I mean, because that, I that, think that's, 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 that's the crux of the conversation. That is, that is the represent. There, there are two systems that are at, at, at work right here. There's the systems of the world, uh, the, and then there's the, the, the kingdom of God. Right. How and many they, they are not in alignment with each other. Yeah. And we cannot expect to be paid from the world system if we are all protected, if we are working with the kingdom and vice versa. Let me ask you, you said, Elder, how many, how many, based on that statement, the brother Addison just said, how many Christians have also ran into that problem with the cops, police officers? But how do we respond? And that determines whether or not we're going to be, like you said, don't suffer as the evil doer. Don't go in there cussing them out. We we have been given directive and power as to how to deal with that situation, the kind where it turns away back rest. Yeah, that's what I'm to you. There's what one power, the power of God, he was resist the power of the order of God, proceeding to self damnation. The root, the, these guys, these ministers, don't hold a sword in vain. You yes, know, right. put their reward on those who do well and they punish the ones that don't. They so there are certain directions that we have in our interaction with the world system that's supposed to sway them toward the kingdom if we are successful in what we do. As far as changing their behavior, mm -hmm. it, might not, it might not work. They might beat you anyway. 
Right. Have we seen how many? So just, I mean, just asking, that's a good question, right? How many, because you're saying those, some of the people, like he was talking about, Charles is talking about with uh, the George Floyd, he didn't call out Jesus, he called out his mama, but that's okay. My, my, and I'm not saying I, I reckon he would, Brother Addison, I'm not saying he should have. <laughs> but how many Christians have we seen that have been attacked by the police officers? We don't. Well, well I, I mean, they won't even keep track of the numbers of black people that are being abused by these cops. Why would we keep numbers? Well, let's, well, I, well I, got, so, I got one example. You got to go by the videos you see, right? So you only go by the evidence you saw. Okay, so the one that was killed by the woman in the apartment was a Christian in Texas. He, she went to the wrong apartment, thought it was her apartment, and, uh -huh. and killed the, 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 uh, the black man. Yes. Yeah, and he was, he was a Christian. Okay. All right. I think he's saying in the choir and all that other stuff. Uh -huh. And I love the fact that the message he gave, his mom gave, his brother gave to the gospel. That's right. He hugged the woman. He forgave the woman. The judge even gave the the, 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 the police officer a Bible. And that and, and, and that, that sent a message, like you said, that would have been a powerful message if George if George had said Paul Christ. But my point is, when we do it Christ's way, that forgiveness on that stand by his brother sent a message that still resonates to some people today. Perhaps, but I do know that there were many, when I say many, many tried to get that judge fired for doing what she did. Well, well no, that's, uh, look, but did you like the scripture he just read though? Yeah, I'm just yeah, saying. For Christ's sake. It, 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 all I'm saying is, it's worth it. That, the it goes both ways. Oh, well, yeah. you're, 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 you, you will be persecuted, and you will affect change. Come on, you know that it's, it goes both ways. Christ Bottom was line persecuted. is to renew your mind so yes, that sir. you can walk in the spirit. Yes, sir. And yes. most likely. The only time you'll deal with the police is when they pull you over. Yes. Because yes. I don't yes. know too many Christians that don't speed. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I, I know Christians do speed. I mean, they make mistakes. I mean, the uh, this kid, Christian <laughs> father was sitting there parking on the wrong side of the road and deliver a package into Amazon. Not to say he was a Christian, but the point I'm saying is their behavior. Uh, if, if, if when things happen to a Christian and they respond, the way the fruits of the spirit indicates for them, uh -huh. it does make a change. It does preach something, even if somebody do something wrong. Because he said, "You, could, Christ was killed. Christ was slapped. And Christ was spit on. Christ was hair pulled out of. Christ suffered, but his message did not die." No, it did. But yeah. there's one thing. This, uh, if I can, there's a connection. If you say, if you, except your body means you can do nothing, right? Which you can't is, do that. that was the one. He, that's one Charles was reading. We didn't get so, to that, but yeah. So when we are responding to the situations that we find ourselves in, yes, sir. We are motivated by the Spirit of God. Come on. To bring bring that person. If our purpose is to bring witness to that person, even if that that I feel it. Yes, the sir. glory of God, the love of God, yes, sir. Then bringing them into the kingdom becomes our ultimate, you know, endeavor. That's the, I think that's why he said the fellowship. That's why I'm saying that 315, the fellowship of his suffering. We don't might like we might want to hear the power of the resurrection. We need to understand sometimes it's the fellowship of his suffering. If that was the power, if he had not suffered on that cross, we would still be looking for salvation. That's what I'm saying. So I, I realized that when he uses us, even in those hostile environments, he's actually working toward the salvation of whoever it is that he's causing he us is. to work with. I'm telling you, he Paul is. Paul and right. Stephen. Paul, Paul and, who is it? Paul and Stephen. Because Stephen was stoned while yeah. Paul watched. Frank stood up. He had an impact on Paul's ministry. Yeah. yeah. It, it, it helped bring him in and helped succeed him in the faith. Exactly. And so we're suffering not until social justice to me is going to fall short of what we do for a living because it's going to be an unjust situation that we're going to find ourselves bringing people to christ the yes. centurion at the foot of the cross said this was indeed the son of god yes sir. but he had him crucified 
Yeah. Because of what he experienced in that situation, it touched his heart. It's a long game, though. You got to remember, this is a long yeah. game. This it is, is long you got to play the long game, not the short game. It's, <laughs> you you got to so, go ahead. Who says so? Well, I, I just think it's it's imperative that uh, we keep in mind that when you're walking in the, I'll just put it, most Christians are not going to find themselves in the predicaments of a lot of these abuses that we see and uh, in these videos and on TV, the news and what so on, what's, you know, so forth and so on, uh, not as the norm. You know, it's a rarity that you will find a Christian in those situations and circumstances. Right. I just believe that that's just the nature. Yeah, of, that's that nature, uh, that spirit. That I mean, spirit that that yeah. that prevents you from being put in those those different scenarios. Well, I mean, they have, they've been put in those scenarios. Um, is how they respond you know, and, to those scenarios. Yeah, yeah, and and you know, like I'm just saying, uh, a lot of times these people are out late late at night at clubs or whatnot, and then this they, they're just waiting on them. And stuff like that happens, um, but uh, so when you look at Psalm ninety-one, he gives the prerequisites, a uh, precondition for protection. He yes, sir. In the shelter of the Most High, mm -hmm. he talks about not fearing the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, so forth and so on. So there's angelic protection for us, even as we walk this earth, if we abide in Christ, if we yeah. abide in Him. So, but when we step outside of those areas, then we expect that there's something going to happen because the devil waiting there to take your head anyway. Well, that's what that's why that's what fifteen. That's what you say. Verse fifteen is about right. Is that they they want you? They want you to step outside of Christ. Because when you step outside of Christ, then they can handle you. I mean, they, they, can, they can do what they want to do with you once you step outside of Christ. Exactly. So in a sense, they're working for Him to bait you outside, so they they can destroy not only your testimony but you as well. Right. And I think that's one of the things that we as saints kind of lose sight of is that we do have angelic protection so long as we stay within the boundaries of Christ. You know, uh, edict though it, it, it's directive. And if we, if we it's, have, it's, it's, therefore, I agree. And therefore, when we talk about ministering to to the body and ministering to the world, maybe it's time for us also to make sure that our teaching, daily teaching, that can follow and apply to anybody, is bearing back these fruits again. Saying, look, we want to bring in the concept of love. That's it's what we're trying to say. It's, 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 it's the fact is of, of joy. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Mm -hmm. we, we, want, we want to bring in the patience, the long suffering. We want to bring in the, 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 the faithfulness. Because it means faith, but it really means faithfulness. I'm going to be faithful in doing what I'm supposed to do. But, right? But, Pastor, you know what they say is going to happen to you when you do that, right? That's okay. Because be it's a thing. <laughs> But he said, but look, I like what your verse said. Uh, I better bring it up again so these people can see it. The people, we talking about the people going to see the video. <laughs> I was, damn, but look, I think that's, we finished reading what you was reading anyway. Go back, you said, you said, you're gonna be, you said verse 14, 14. If you be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are you. For the spirit of glory and of God rested upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of. But on your part, he is glorified. Mm -hmm. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, as a thief, or as an evildoer, or as a busybody in other men's matters. That's a very strong word right there. Yes, sir. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the household of God. And if it first begins at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? Come on. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and sinner appear? Right. Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of God commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing mm -hmm. as unto a faithful creator. So that sounds to me. He's telling so us he, that. He's he, telling he, us he, that. The question I want to ask you. Huh? The question I want to ask. When it says, as evil, I mean, busybodies in any other men's matters. Right. Jesus didn't talk about civil rights. No, no, it, 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 but then again, so when we get involved in that, are we busybodies in other men's matters? I'm just I'm throwing it out there as a question. Are there situations that we get involved in that don't really concern the kingdom? Well, he did. Remember the fact he did that there was guys about taxes. 
and he told Peter, go get a fish and take that silver coin and give them their taxes. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Remember the fact is that the some guy that tried to ask him, who made, who made me judge over you? The, the, the two brothers. And he said, the brothers were asking him to make determination between whether they're going to share the load or not. I mean, the, right. the wealth or not. And then, and, and, and then if you look at the scriptures, what Paul was sitting there saying is, why we let, why we go to, to, to the system where we need to learn how to judge one between one another? So Christ didn't really get caught up in social issues. We tell that fox, he told Harris. Somebody said, Harris is trying to kill you. He said, we're going to tell that fox, I got to work today and I got to work tomorrow. It, it sounded like he was very aware of Harris. Oh, he knew, yeah. He said, you have no power over me except to be given to you from God. Come on, brother. Hey, how about, I'm sorry. Wait. How about uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 4? Let me bring it up for you. One second. 2 Timothy, what chapter? 2? Chapter 2, verse number 4. Okay, I'm going to bring it up and share it with you guys. See it? See it, Charles? Oh, yes. What you got? It says, no, no man that wore it entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. Mm -hmm. So from one perspective, there's different wars that are going on. Yes. You have the war from a spiritual perspective for the souls of mankind. Amen. Then you have the wars that are going on for the justice in this world, right. which would be a world, can I say experience, endeavor, how you want to look at it, but you're trying from one perspective to turn this world into a peaceful environment. Yeah, humanity. When Christ in essence says, well, that's not what I'm here for. <laughs> this world yep. has been condemned. Christ comes along and provides an opportunity to restore what we had with him from the beginning. Mm -hmm. This thing is completely messed up and it's on a course of destruction. Yeah. We're not here to save the world. We're In not. fact, Christ said, I'm not praying for the world, but I'm praying for them that will believe on me yeah. through your word. So we have the issues of the ministry being to those that are lost, to those that belong to Christ. But you see, sometimes we use the shotgun blast to reach everybody, but then he zero us in on specific people who are heeding the call. And then we minister to them for spiritual develop development to become more and more like Christ. Amen. And the things that we're talking about from a biblical perspective is in some cases referred to as, uh, what's that term they use? sanctification mm -hmm. as to where we are ministering to people to teach them to be more christ-like yes sir. in churches you have people that have been there and have heard different messages yes. that cater to the pleasing of the flesh as Amen. opposed to the changing of, the of your character slash nature Amen. and of course what you're talking about is us walking in the spirit to the point as to where the life that we live impacts yes, sir. other people that are watching. Yes, sir. I'm definitely in agreement with that. Yeah. But we are so caught up in hearing a good message that we're not getting clarity on the conversion or the transformation that Christ is trying to invoke through the renewing of our mind Amen. By changing what we have learned previously on how to live and operate mm -hmm. with the things that Christ has set forth on how we're supposed to live and operate. But Amen. That's, what, that's what I'm saying is that that's where the whole purpose starting off is that if we're teaching one another the gospel to the church and to our, part of our gospel ministry message of bear fruit, it's the fruit of, that will change the world. And I'm gonna tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me show you a scripture right here of why Christ's gospel changed. It has was affecting the people back then, as well as gonna affect back affect now. Look what they said about Paul and Silas when they went into verse 17. I mean, chapter 17, verse six. Look what the people thought about 
this, well, let me bring it up a little bit. Charles, here, uh, let's see here. This is Paul and Silas. And uh, they went into uh, Thessalonica. Uh, if you want to, could you read that from one to nine? Sure. Now, when they had passed through Amphipolis in Apollonia, they came to Thessalonica. Oh, Somebody's picture's in the way. <laughs> came to Thessalonica. I got a picture here and I can't get around it. How you move that picture out, brother? I, was, I forgot how to, I, I got the computer, so I can't. Okay. Where was, okay, I got it. I can look up under. Where was a synagogue of the Jews? And Paul, as his manner was, went unto them, and three seven days reasoned with them out of the scriptures, opening and alleging that Christ must need to have suffered and risen again from the dead, and that this Jesus, whom I preach unto you, is Christ. And some of them believed and consorted with Paul and Silas, and of the devout Greeks, a great multitude, and of the chief women, not a few. Mm -hmm. But the Jews, which mm -hmm. believed not, mm -hmm. moved with envy, well, took unto them certain lewd fellows of yeah. the baser sort, mm -hmm. and gathered a company, and set all the city on an uproar, mm -hmm. and assaulted the house of Jason, and mm -hmm. sought to bring them out to the people. Mm -hmm. And when they found them not, they drew Jason and certain brethren unto the rulers of the city, crying, Mm -hmm. These that have turned the world upside down are come here are come hither also. Mm -hmm. Whom Jason whom Jason hath received, yes, sir. and these all do contrary to the decrees of Caesar, saying that there is another king, one oh. Jesus. Yes. And they troubled the people uh -huh. and the rulers of the city when they had heard these things. Yes. Sir. And when they had taken security of Jason. And of the others, they let them go. Now, the, the, the fact is, is that what I want to bring, I use that scripture saying is, even the people of that time, brother, elder, as the scripture was going out, the gospel was going out. The view of them was saying is that they are turning not that city, not that country, you know, not that continent, but the entire world upside down, yes, preaching the gospel. Yes, and it troubled the people. It troubled the Jews. It troubled the, 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 the people that was benefiting off of the world system. Because the power of the gospel, Jesus did come to change the world. He came to save the world. He's not going to save it if it doesn't change. And it's changing the hearts of men. And I'm trying to say, you you got a power of trying to make sure people understand what the gospel is all about. And operated not only by words, but in deeds. And I'm talking about the fruits of the spirit. Yes. 